Hello Scorpio, I'm here to do your weekly reading. We're going to find out what's going on with your week from the 11th, or well, actually the 10th, so you can go down to the 10th if you want, all the way till next Sunday, give or take a few days. So, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, please check your sun or your moon rising or Venus sign. Um, if you're cross watching, don't ever, don't always take this into account as being your <clears throat> person that you're watching. Make sure that you know you kind of know what you're <laughs> looking for. That you have a lot of 100% clarity that this is your person if you're watching them. But anyways, let's just say maybe you don't know what's going on with your person. So maybe this might be what's going on with them. So we're going to find out first off. I'm going to pull two cards from black. Not all those. That's like a lot of cards. <laughs> we're going to pull two cards from this deck to find out what's going on with Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hopefully I didn't say Libra, did I? <laughs> oh, okay. There's one card. Bam. So we have Iris of the Rainbow. So there's some... This is having hope about your future. This is looking towards the future and having hope that you can create... And it's like there's been a lot of downtime for you maybe um, really looking at yourself within yourself and really seeing what is it that you, you know, looking at vulnerabilities, looking at a lot of stuff, maybe going through a dark night of soul and now coming out. Now all of a sudden you're having this ray of hope and it's like you're feeling pretty vulnerable too about this. Like, wow, there's some hope here and you're just really hoping that there is really a gold pot, a pot full of gold at the end of that rainbow, right? And what else is going on? Looking towards that future, <clears throat> broken, battered down. This is really hoping that this future is going to look so much better. This is the Lamois. It's a, fifth, a 30 card, I believe. Yeah, 30. So 30, of course, is three zero. That's a three. So this is wanting to create maybe with other people you've got your little friend here in the back and they look like they they're they look like a little hornet you know almost but in reality actually it's not your little friend that's your top of your wings just they're still there but they're like there's not enough to fly like they're so shattered so you're hoping that this rainbow you have hope though for this future that things can start to go better for you. This is having hope. And then, of course, there's that little wreath around your head. And whoever you're, you have a support system that's been there in place, like a rock support system, been there for a long, long time. And they're actually trying to cheer you on and make you feel comfortable, whoever it is that you're, you're sitting on top of. <laughs> it's like this person or someone, they're like your rock. And they're trying to just, they, they see hope for you. They're trying to encourage you. But your wings, you have no no wings to refly. Maybe you're healing those little wings so you can fly. Really hoping for that future. But um, the face on her is like kind of dismal. Not really seeing something. Not really <clears throat> knowing what, but still having... And see, part of this rainbow is actually falling down onto her wings. So having your wings heal, getting ready to take flight. That's beautiful. <laughs> so let's see, coming into your reading, what kind of energies, what's going on. We'll find out, um, see if what's going on in a relationship. If there's friends or something, if you're not in a relationship, then what is, you know, going on with friends. But something going on in the relationship for Scorpio and we have <clears throat> the world card so there's cycles being finished and now there's new new life starting so something's coming to an end in friendships or relationships with you and we're going to check and see how that's affecting what your goals are let's see what's going on in your goals Sometimes new, new cycles in a relationship could be starting up. You know, there's new beginnings. Right now, though, you don't feel like you have the support. You're not feeling really victorious about goals that you've set for yourself. Not feeling really super duper inspired. 
maybe you're wanting to feel inspired, wanting to, hoping, you know, there's that rainbow of hope, you know, so maybe you're hoping to get some inspiration somehow, reevaluating what it is, what are your goals, are they, have they changed now, you're trying to find support here, and so how is this affecting your perspective, well, <clears throat> things have just come crashing down, and you had no, you may be feeling like you really had no control over this, maybe you didn't, maybe this was caused by someone else, but there's disruption, <clears throat> and you're having to deal with change, you may not have seen it coming, and so now it's like with these tattered wings you're looking for you're still having hope and optimism that you can go forward you're really not knowing what you're going into and as far as a home you could be dealing with you know trying to regain get some patience and understanding regarding what your dreams and goals are trying to really clarify that um, you might be a bit conflicted about this because right now it looks like no one supporting you in what your goals are regarding career um, and it's affecting the home life you're trying to stand up for yourself within your home because this is in regards to your money too and you want to take charge you want to begin to understand what it is you need you want something it's like wanting to be inspired here maybe you are inspired but you're just not having you know there's some maybe some conflict right here wouldn't you think yeah there's some <clears throat> kind of conflict going on in the home regarding what you want to do and like i said being unsupported in your dreams so bringing an ending here a new cycle has come there's a new inspiration that you're trying to you know take control you're feeling inspired to just go through with this and it's causing some chaos Oh, those poor little wings of yours are just so shattered, Scorpio. So what's going on? Let's see what's driving you in your spirit. And we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is like knowing you have, you've maybe have felt pretty much um, felt imprisoned within your thoughts, feeling tied and bound maybe to something and now that this tower moment has happened is actually set you free it's like boom you've been set free so you could be feeling victorious about this and feeling like you do have control to be able to go after your dreams even though you won't have the support that you wanted no one's supporting you you're still going to go after them because you're no longer feeling trapped to whatever was causing you to feel trapped it's disrupted your whole life and so now you have this ending here and that's a pretty pretty awesome reading and so now like here's your tattered wings right here and you having hope after having fallen out of that tower it's like i've fallen out of this tower but i still have hope look at my poor little wings they're just shattered and broken you know metaphorically speaking but still sitting there there's still a foundation that you're able to take off from that maybe you built somehow in your own way you managed to build, you know, you've healed, you've been going through all kinds of, like, maybe dark night of the soul and stuff like that, and now you're just like, boom, getting ready to go. Fly off. And we're going to find out. Let's see, we'll go and we'll clarify the Queen of Wands because that is the person card. Why is the Queen of Wands here for you? Even though we already know kind of most likely you're standing up for yourself in the home causing it's causing conflict regarding this home your material security there's with other people maybe there's an ending with a relationship though or there's an old cycle coming to an end and a new cycle's beginning but you're no longer feeling entrapped to it so queen of wands bam and we have the nine of pentacles this is about your money this is your home life this is you feeling totally awesome about this this is like going after what you want to achieve regardless you know even independently regardless because you don't have the support you need maybe you were expecting to have support from a partner and they just weren't able to do it and so now all of a sudden it's like well look at me i can do this i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it so wow pretty awesome read for you guys so enjoy your guys week and you guys can go ahead and 
um, comment and share, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know how this resonated with you. And you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching.